During threats and emergencies, man's best friend is more than a friend. Dogs that respond alongside emergency personnel are almost as important, if not more so, than those responding. Today, Kate. 2002. Good dog. The events of September 11th barely in the rearview mirror when Kyle Butler joined the ATF K-9 Explosives Unit. We weren't really sure what was happening. As a special agent, Butler's trained two dogs. Now him and six-year-old RJ travel across the country, keeping it safe. You have to do everything you can do to prevent something from happening, and these dogs are a vital part of what we do. Today, the ATF held its National Odor Recognition Test, or NORT, for canine units across the Houston region. They're the first line of defense out there against any kind of terrorism or criminal violent crime uh, activity that utilizes explosives. NORT tests the dogs on 10 different odors found in explosives. The test also includes other smells like dog food and rubber gloves to try to throw the dogs off. The test is voluntary, but certification carries weight. It gives the canine handler and the canine team uh, documentation that they, if they're called to testify in court, they're able to produce it and show that their canine is proficient on finding these or basic odors. RJ and Butler also covered the Beaumont area for crimes including finding guns. Even a, a very skilled bomb tech cannot find the things that a canine can find. And training the dogs also comes with other benefits to their handlers. A friend. When we're not doing anything home for the evening, he follows me every step I make. I can barely go to the bathroom without him. In Conroe, Kara Dixon, Fox 4 News. Butler says he and RJ work seven days a week and travel all over the U.S. to handle cases.